Hi, I'm Mark Jarvis, and welcome to the Magic of Magic's review of Array by Baz Taylor. Array is a no slight triumph card effect. Let's watch Peter Nardi perform Array, and we'll be right back to talk more about this card, Magic Illusion. Uh, do me a favor, just cut the cards roughly in half and take the card. And actually, I'm going to turn my head. You sign your card on the face while she's doing that. Why don't you two take a card? But don't look at them. If you take this one face down, you take the next one. That is great. Sam, your card's going to go back somewhere in the middle and we will lose it. Like so. What I'm going to try, uh, try and do is show you my favourite trick. Okay, it is quite difficult. But as a magician, I should be able to pull it off. I'm going to take half the cards face up, half the cards face down. And we shuffle those together face up into face down, leaving us, hopefully, a haphazard mess of face up and face down cards, okay? This creates chaos within this pack. We've got the cards all mixed, face up, face down, all the way through. Now, obviously, your card is now either face up or face down. Have you heard the term trying to create order from chaos? Well, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. And we have got face up, face down, face up, face down. All I have to do is snap. Every single card will now face the same way apart from one. What was the name of your card? Eight of hearts. The eight of hearts. Watch. Every single card now faces <laughs> the same way apart from one card, the ace of hearts with your signature on it. And we're going to try exactly the same with your two cards. But don't look at them just yet. We're going to try something just slightly different. I'm going to cut the cards into four piles turn two of the piles face up and we will shuffle them together like so leaving face up and face down cards face up and face down cards and face up and face down cards now obviously your cards not in the pack so all I have to do is just cast the shadow over the deck. Now, every single card of the same suit as yours will turn face up. The first card to turn face up is the ace, the ace of diamonds. That tells me two things. Your card's a diamond, but it's not the ace, because the ace is here. In fact, the ace turns face up, the two turns face up, the three, the four. We should have a five in there somewhere. Five, six, seven, eight, ten, Jack, Queen, King. There's only one card missing, which, if you have a look, should be the Nine of Diamonds, the only <laughs> card missing. Brilliant. Now, obviously, you didn't pick a diamond, so we'll do exactly the same, just here, here. The first card to turn up is the Ace of Clubs, tells me your card's a club, not the Ace, not the Two, not the Three, not the Four, not the Five, not the Six, not the Eight, not the Nine, not the Ten, not the Jack, not the Queen, not the King, tells me it must be the Seven of Clubs, turn it over. Seven of clubs, and that's a ray. Thank you so much. Array is powerful card magic. As you just saw, Peter Nardi begins his performance of Array by kicking it off with his own opener, where the first spectator selects and signs a card. The card is lost in the deck and is surprisingly found using a technique Peter will share with you. You have the option of performing Peter's opener or starting with Baz Taylor's original delivery. In its simplest form, Baz Taylor's Array begins with two spectators, each selecting and keeping a card. You then cut the remaining cards into four packets. Two of the packets are turned face up and two face down. You fairly shuffle all four packets together, resulting in a deck that includes cards facing in both directions. Spreading through the deck, you reveal all the cards have magically turned face down, except for the suit of the card that the first spectator selected. Every card in their suit is face up, matching the suit of the selected card they are holding. Then, without any false moves, you close the deck, respread the cards, and amazingly, every card in the second spectator's suit is now face up, excluding his selected card. This second transformation is even more miraculous than the first because it happens so quickly. Peter Nardi's opening addition to Array includes two slights that are simple to perform. As mentioned earlier, you have the option of incorporating these into your performance. Baz Taylor's Array doesn't require any sleight of hand. You use the 13 gimmick cards included that you insert in your own deck. 
You perform array using a simple crosscut force, and the rest is virtually self-working. The instructional DVD includes a stand-up version of the effect for the strolling performer that doesn't require any table space. Array is stunning and unexplainable card magic. It gets more than one spectator involved in your performance. The reset can be done quickly. If you're performing close-up magic at a small gathering or for friends and family, Array will make a great addition to your routine. As standalone card magic or with a simple deck switch, a great addition to your card magic performance. I recommend Array.